Hi, my name is Akshay Joshi and in this short video, I am going to demonstrate how to take backups of server, global objects and other database objects using PG Admin 4. PG Admin 4 currently supports three types of backups. First, backup globals. PG Admin uses the PG underscore dump all utility of a PostgreSQL to dump only global objects like roles and table spaces, but not databases. Second, backup server. This option is used to generate a plain text script that will recreate the selected server. It uses the pg underscore dump all utility. Third, backup of database, table or any other object. PG admin uses the pg underscore dump utility to provide an easy way to create a backup in a plain text or archive format. You can backup a single table, a schema or a complete database. Let's start with the backup globals. Connect to any database server, right click on it and select backup globals context menu. It will open a backup globals dialog. Enter the name of the backup file in the file name field. Optionally, you can select a file that will contain the archive by clicking on the browser icon. Let me provide the name here. I am giving test underscore backup. The role name is used to specify a role with connection privileges on the selected server. The role will be used for authentication during the backup. The verbose message switch is used to show status messages in the log from the backup. Force double quote on identifier is used to quote identifiers for consistency, regardless of whether they actually need quoting or not. Now click on the backup button to start the backup process. You can see that the process has started and process is completed. Click on the view processes to check the status of the process and you can see the view details from here. This contains the command that we run for backup globals and the logs uh, of the backup process. Once the backup is successful, we can verify that. To verify that, just open the query tool. Open the backup file that we have created. Here you can see that all the dump is related to table space and roles. So this is how backup global works. Now we will see how the backup server option works. For that, select the server, right click on it, select the backup server menu. It will open the backup server dialog. Regarding the file name and role name, I have already explained. So I will provide a file name here, test underscore server. We will see the other options in this backup server dialog. So click on the data options tab. Use the fields in the data options tab to provide options related to, related to data or a database object that corresponds to pg underscore dump all. The type of object field box to specify details about the type of object that will be backed up like only data, only table space, only schema and only roles. The do not save field box is used to select the objects that will not be included in the backup. You can set unset the switch control of your choice. Click the query option tabs to continue. Use this additional field to specify the type of statement that should be included in the backup use insert command is used to dump the data in the form of insert statement rather than using a copy command please note this may slow the backup restoration maximum rows per insert is used to control the maximum number of rows per insert note this option is visible only for database servers having version greater than or equal to 12. next is on conflict do nothing to insert command it is used to add on conflict do nothing to the insert commands. This option is not valid unless use insert commands, use column inserts or maximum rows per insert commands are also specified. This option is visible only for database server having version greater than or equal to 12. Next is include drop database statement. It is used to include a command in the backup that will drop any existing database object with the same name before recreating the object during a backup. Next is include if exists clause. It is used to add an if exists clause to drop database and other objects. This option is not valid unless the include drop database statement is also set. Click the table option tab to continue. Use the field in the table options tab related to tables that should be included in the backup. Use column insert. 
it is used to dump the data in the form of insert statement and include explicit column names please note this may slow the backup restoration next is load via partition root it is used when dumping a copy or insert statement for a partition table target the root of the partitioning hierarchy which contains it rather than the partition itself note that this option is visible only for database server version greater than or equal to 11 next is with ids it is used to include object identifier as a part of the table data for each table click the options tab to continue use the field in the options tab to provide other backup options disable triggers is used to include commands that will disable triggers on the target table while the data is being loaded dollar coating is used to enable dollar coating within a function body if disabled the function body will be coated using sql standard string syntax verbose messages is used to instruct pg underscore dump all to include exclude verbose messages force double quote on identifiers is used to force the quoting of all identifiers use set session authorization is used to include a statement that will use a set session authorization command to determine object ownership instead of an alter owner command exclude database field is used to avoid dumping database whose name matches the pattern given extra float digit field is used to use the specified value when dumping floating point data instead of the maximum available precision lock wait timeout field is used to prevent waiting forever to acquire shared table lock at the beginning of the dump instead fail if unable to lock a table within the specified timeout select the options of your choice and click on the backup button to start the backup process this is how backup server works now i will show you the backup objects options for backup server and backup objects are mostly the same i will brief you about the options that are available only in the backup objects for that connect to any database server select any database right click on it select the backup menu it will open the backup object dialog for file name i have already explain so let me give a file name here test underscore new the format field is used to select the format that is best suited for your application compression ratio field is used to select a compression level for the backup specify a value of zero to mean use no compression specify a maximum compression value of nine please note that tar archive do not support compression the encoding dropdown is used to select the character encoding method that should be used for the archive. The number of jobs field is used to specify the number of tables that will be dumped simultaneously in a parallel backup. For role name I have already explained. Let's move to the data option tab. Pre-data is used to include all data definition items not included in the data or post data item list data is used to backup actual table data large object contents and sequence values post data is used to include definition of indexes triggers rules and constraint other than validated check constraint let's see what other options are available in a query options include create database statement is used to include a command in the backup that creates a new database when restoring the backup move to the table options Enable row security. It is used to allow the user to dump the part of the content of the table that they have access to. This option is relevant only when dumping the content of a table which has a row security. The exclude table data, table and children, exclude table and children, exclude table data and children. All these fields are used to dump or exclude the data for any tables matching the table pattern. Move to the options tab. The exclude schema. This field is used to avoid dumping schemas whose name matches the pattern given. Select the option of your choice and click on the backup button to start the backup process. Thank you for watching the demo. I hope you like the video and will find it useful.